Hi, good evening. I am Palm Praise 2, and I like to welcome you to an evening edition read here on Palm Praise 2. Certainly, peace and blessings be upon you and your family this evening. Now, for our evening read, we are going to go ahead and get into The Goddess Black Woman. We are currently on character reflection number nine, which is orderliness. For this particular take, we're going to go ahead and finish up character reflection number nine, where we'll be able to go into character reflection number 10. I'll give you a preview. The title of that section is entitled Effective Communication. Now, right now, we're going to complete the act of creation to bring order out of chaos. And it reads as such. How do you create your own world around you? Well, what is the original method that your creator used to create this world? Your creator is constantly creating the universal atmosphere by the method of bringing order out of chaos. Evolving the world to higher stages of organized perfection, bringing order out of chaos. And this is the same method by which we are to create the atmosphere of our own lives, our own words, our own life. Just follow this now. Your pattern of thinking is always going to be the center of your life or your world. And the condition or state of your life or world will always revolve around the condition or state of your thinking. Your state of thinking produces your state of life. This is why we want to bring the thinking of our minds out of a former state of chaos into a present state of order by which every aspect of our lives can and will follow suit. This is a process. The protocol and the plan. Okay? Do you follow? Now, with that understanding, we want to find all methods by which we can get our minds together. And I submit to you that the cleaning and organizing of our outside atmosphere directly helps us to clean and organize the internal thought processes of our minds. So orderliness is what we strive for inside and out. Really the act of bringing order out of chaos is the entire purpose and function of our lives. Are you listening? Huh? Did you hear that? Listen now, I said that the act of bringing order out of chaos is actually the entire purpose and the function of our lives. We want to bring that which was formerly in a state of nothingness into a state by which it can now be considered something of value, of worth, of purpose. Think on that. Orderliness, orderliness, orderliness. To bring order out of disorder. That is the point to this discussion. That is the point to this life. Even our ancient symbol of the pyramid represents this point of bringing order out of chaos or the process of creation itself. Actualizing that which was once only in a state of potential. Look at the great pyramids. 
Have you had an arrangement of many individual stones that have now been scientifically and meticulously organized into a mathematically aligned structure of order? It is now put into creation that has been structurally engineered by precision of perfectly exacted measurements. When at one time, the same pyramid was once nothing but a chaotically scattered pile of various piles of jagged rock and stone. In its former state of chaos, excuse me, it was considered nothing. But in its present state of mathematically disciplined order, it has now become a wonder to the world. Okay, well, listen, we are not talking about pyramids just to be talking. The symbol of the pyramid is giving you and I the instructions of life itself. We are to bring ourselves and our lives out from a chaotically scattered pile of insignificance into an organized state of divine wonder. This is our daily instruction, our daily prayer. Let us make black woman. You are already something. Mm -hmm. That was once a pile of nothing. You, your anatomical, I don't know if I said that correctly, y'all, A-N-A-T-O-M-I-C-A-L, creation, is already just a pile of dust that has been magnetized, organized, and gathered around a supreme field of electrical intelligence that called you into existence and keeps you in existence as we speak. You are mud gathered around a spark of sunlight. That's what you are. A walking planet. Just stop and think about that. Hmm. Now that you know who you are and what you are, go and create your world in your image and likeness. You go out and stand up directly in the center of your life and you be the supreme field of electrical intelligence that authoritatively calls all those chaotically disorganized places of your life together into an organized functional creation, an organized world, an organized sphere of unified particles that smoothly rotates and functions by the light and law of your spiritual disciplined thought. You be that spark in the center that holds it all together. Holding together the order of your atmosphere or your sphere of atoms, your world, your heavens, your earth, your life. Listen now, in conclusion of this discussion, understand that even though the state of your atmosphere should always reflect the state of your mind, the truth is that the state of your atmosphere already reflects the state of your mind. All that we have to do is to take a good look around. Us to see, us to get a good look at what is going on inside of us. It is merely a cycle of reflections and impressions. Yet, if you want to change your mind, change your atmosphere. If you want to change your atmosphere, change your mind. One will make an impression on the other. Put it all in order. Put it all in your self-control. You and I, okay? 
this is a final affirmation for this section. God's mission is to resurrect the life out of death and to spark the light out of darkness, which is to bring the order out of chaos. The peace is where you bring it and the heaven is where you make it. So be and it is. That completes our uh, character reflection number nine, which is entitled Orderliness. I do thank you for watching Poem Praise 2 to this point. Certainly at this time, hit the like button, subscribe, share, hit that notification bell. You'll know when I, Poem Praise 2, is coming with something new for you. I do want your family to be safe, to be well, be blessed, and it be at thy will. I, poem praise too, will talk and I will see you later, 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 y'all. Okay, till next time. Later, y'all.